Hey, it's John Williams coming to you from my home office in Henderson, Nevada, and I have Susan Johnson. Uh, where are you now? Hey, oh, John, Renfrew. I'm coming Renfrew. to you from my home office, Renfrew, Renfrew, Ontario. That's right. So, how many time zones away? That's about three or four time zones away from where I am. Probably four. <laughs> a few. Please. Hey, today we were just having a conversation on the phone, so I thought we'd come on and talk here so that we can share with all of you what Sue's doing. Uh, see that map behind me with all those pins in it? We're really working on exposures, and there's probably mm, it's getting close to 100 pins on there. And I know, Sue, a lot of them are coming from you, and I know Manny is doing a ton of them. Uh, and a lot of other people are out there sharing geo with people, so we're having really a lot of fun with exposures. And of course, that's the most important, exposing Gia to as many people as we possibly can and helping through a process and finding out who wants to become a customer and who wants to join our team and help us grow. But you're doing some things that are probably unusual to some people. So I want to talk a little bit about that today. I know that when we first started this process that you put some pretty big goals out there. Number one, you want to have, you want to create three presidential directors this year in your group. I think that's a pretty good goal. And then in 2022, you want to walk us across the stage with Eric Worre at his event in December, whether it's live or uh, virtual. So <coughs> excuse me, two huge goals. So I think most people know about how to reach out and how to expose people, you know, meet people that they meet, uh, friends and relatives and things like that. But you're really focusing now on a cold market. So let's talk a little bit about the lead program that you're using to, to make this happen. So first of all, where do you get the leads and what are, the, what are they all about? Well, John, firstly, I went to Google and um, looked up network marketing leads and pulled up a few companies and I looked through them to decide which one I wanted to go with, made that decision. It's not one that I have to stick with, but it's where I started. And um, I just purchased I think it was 600 leads for about $100 and it's given me a starting point. So I, when I'm sitting around the house, I've always got something to do. I can reach out to these cold market as you call them. All right. So you purchased 600 leads for about $100. So tell, tell everybody where do these leads come from? How, how does the company you're getting them from get them and get them to you? Well, from my understanding, the company has like funnels, I guess they're called out in the computer world, shall we say, <laughs> here on the computer. People have Googled, I think it's one of the top Google searches these days, you know, work from home with everything that's going on in the right. world. And people come across sites and they have to put in their information, their name, their uh, email, their phone number, their state and pro uh, province, etc. And then from there, it funnels down to these companies that I was searching out. Mm -hmm. As I say, I chose the company I wanted to go with. They have those leads. And every day, mm -hmm. I have about 20 to 40 leads delivered to my inbox. And mm -hmm. I make myself an Excel spreadsheet and take it from there. Okay, good. So these are people who have answered an ad online. Or, and then sometimes they'll even do a television ad. And hey, work from home. How would you like to have the freedom and the luxury of working from home? Uh, call this number, and that's how usually these leads are purchased. And so they're from all over North America, right? And they are people yes. from every walk of life, right? You just never know Most definitely. you're going to get. It's kind of a, a random thing. So now you get these leads <laughs> every single day. And then what do you do? Yep. Well, I, I get excited, number one. I really do. I really enjoy calling these guys up. And like you say, you just never know what you're going to get. Um, and you reach out to them, I call them up and I introduce myself and uh, let them know that their details came across my desk as I understand they're looking or searching for something to do from home. I ask if they keep their hold options on, hold open. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's one thing you said though, and I want to make sure everybody feels this. You get excited. And yes. why do you get excited? And this is really important. Why do you get excited when you have people to call? Well, I like to be active, number one. I, I, I get excited because I want to reach out. I want to share. People need what we have here at Geo Wellness. And the only way they're going to know about it is if I share it with them or others share it with them. Um, but I like to be busy, John. I'm not one that likes to sit around. So it keeps me busy. Um, I've got a lot of people to reach out to. 
and I get to meet new people. I've actually made, in this last week of calling people, I've made myself a really good friend from Arkansas. We're talking almost every day. He's not decided yet about joining, et cetera, but I've made a new friend mm -hmm. and that's exciting. I think you have another person that's kind of interested too. It sounds like you were telling me today that she just, yes. well, let's talk about the process. So now you've got the leads. You probably have their phone, their name, their phone number, email address. Is that it? That's all you really have, right? I also receive their state and the city that they're in, although that does fluctuate. Um, okay, good. But I, I clarify that when I'm talking to them. Okay, and it's first and last name, right? Yes. Okay, great. Now, so then, just to clarify, though, this is the type of lead that I've purchased. There are different levels of leads where you can have more information provided. They are obviously more expensive as such. Um, and this is just me getting my feet wet again with leads. So mm -hmm. I chose to go this route and just really reach out to a very cold market. Okay. And just on that note, there are different costs for leads. And it seems like the more that the company does, to, like interview them or get information from them, the more they cost. And what I've found is that there really isn't a lot of difference in the success rate with the more expensive leads. So I think, you know, Agreed. especially starting out, keep it inexpensive. Okay. So now you get the leads. And let's say you're, there's a lead sitting in front of you right now. What's the first thing you do? I introduce myself. No, no. You know, my so, name is Sue Johnson. Do you call them? Do you text them? Do you send them an oh, email? Oh, I'm sorry. Sitting in front of me. I misunderstood you. Yes. No, I reach out with a phone number. I call them. Okay. And if I'm honest, I do get a lot of answering machine messages. That Most of them are okay, answering so machine messages. You, let's just get down to it. What would be the percentage? Let's say you called 100 today. What percentage of people would you actually reach on a phone call? On a phone call, probably about 10. Okay, so about 10% of the 10%. leads you're able to reach. All right, so if you called one now and they don't answer, what <coughs> would you do next? Well, if they don't answer, because uh, there's many things that keep happening here when you call. The number could be bad, um, it doesn't work. So I would send them an email because I have their email. Okay. Um, if the number goes through and I leave an answering machine message, I also send them a text as well. Okay. Um, and if for any reason the sig the bus I get a busy signal or their machine messages are full and they are no longer accepting messages, I just text them. And the texting has really been key and it's really okay. got me more excited as well because I am reaching more people because of that. Okay, good. So when you text them, they text you back sometimes mm -hmm. and then that that person's letting you know i know you're asking them are you interested and i think that's pretty cool um yes. so let's say you get a hold of someone now so i answer the phone what do you do next with someone you reach okay so this is where i start my spiel that i introduce myself uh, my name is sue johnson and i'm reaching out to you because your details came across my desk that you're open to and interested in working from home is that still the case? Okay. That's what I ask them and I leave it for them to answer. Most of them say yes, some say no, and I thank them for their time, take them off my list. Uh, but those that say yes, um, we have a little bit of a conversation. I do a bit of an interview, shall we say. I like to ask them if they're currently working with the way the world is right now. I'm getting a lot of different stories. So what's their, what's their story? Um, you know, if they're working full-time, part-time, and the conversation just flows from there. Okay. Um, I sometimes ask them if they're looking for full-time um, work from home or part-time based on their circumstances. Okay. And do you do they seem like they're looking for a job or are they looking for, like you said, work from home? Or they, do they tend to work look for a job probably? Mostly? I'm getting everything. Some of them, uh, most of them are thinking it's more like data entry stuff online, etc. Okay. I explain a bit more about we work from home, we open our own home-based business, and um, we work it ourselves. We, of course, should be partnered with me moving forward. If this is something that would interest you, I would be happy to forward you a 30-minute video okay. to take a look at, and then let's get back on the phone again to get their questions answered. Okay, great. So the purpose of this call really is to get to know them, find out what their needs are, just to make sure that we have something that could help them, and then to help them to get to the information so they could learn about GIA, so that you're not telling all this, the whole story about GIA, right? You're using the tool, exactly. okay? Okay, exactly. so, and so do you give them the, the website to go to over the phone, or do you text it to them? Do you email it to them? What do you do? 
I give them the option. I say, I have your email, which is X, Y, Z, um, cause it builds belief with them that I'm not just a crazy woman calling that I have got their details and I've not found them in the phone book. So this is your email. So I can either text it to you or I can email it to you. What do you prefer? Um, most of them actually say email, which is good because it comes up on their laptop and they can watch the video big rather than okay. little on their phone. Hmm. Yeah. All right. And then, so when you finally are just, they've decided they want more information, do you set a time for the follow-up then? Always, mm -hmm. always, always, always. I ask them, when will you have half an hour to sit down and enjoy the video and learn more about our industry, our company, and what we're all about, and really to see if it's a fit for you. And I actually give them an out at this time as well, John. I do say to them, you know, this may be for you. It may not be for you. So when I give you a call back, you can let me know, thank you, Sue, but it's not my cup of tea, not a problem. And if it is for you, then we can take you to the next step and see what that is for you. Mm -hmm. I so, want them to answer the call when I call back. <laughs> when, you're, when you're talking to them about the business, do you ever get into at, at any point that they might be interested in the product so they might have a need? I, I'm just curious. I kind of give them um, a layout of what the video is about. So well, I actually, I send them straight to our giafreedom.com, the forward slash work at home page. Okay. Right to there where they're going to have the three short videos. The first one's a minute and a half. The second one is three minutes. But the meat of what I want to share with you is 27 minutes. And in okay. that, you're going to learn more about our industry, more about our products, okay. and more about our company and how we can help you earn okay. a second income at home. Okay, good. Now, you were just telling me today that you, somebody you talked to, I think today, yes. gal, and she went and she watched the video and you at the, you phoned back or somehow you made your appointment and then you asked her a, a specific question. What was it? Oh, John, it excites me. Um, and it's the same question I ask everybody. You know, you've had the time to watch the video. Yes, I have. Fabulous. What got your attention the most? Mm -hmm. okay, what grabbed cool. your attention? And that's what she shared. And what I loved about this woman, it was yesterday we, we reconnected. Um, and she said what got her attention from those videos I shared, which I was thinking more businesslike, she said it was the family feel mm. that this company offers. So, I mean, it, that was just really touched me. And I thought she sounded like a perfect fit to share the good news we have here at Gia. Mm -hmm. She sounds like she's got the right heart. And then we have a callback set up. So I get to know her more. She gets to know me because I share some about me as well. She'll be joining me, not so much the company, but joining me mm -hmm. to move forward to hopefully build herself that second career she's looking for. Okay, great. I love that. I'm glad that we talked about that because it just gives me a great feeling about that video to hear someone else who mm -hmm. doesn't really know anything to feel that because that's exactly who we are, really. Uh, a, a business, for it, but it's a family feel. Okay, so I guess the key thoughts mm -hmm. here that I'm thinking of, what you said was that you love to be in action. And that's the part about I love too about leads is that you get to be in action. And it seems like when you're in action, things come to you from all over the place. Now, are you finding that again? I mean, we've gone through this before. Are you finding that yes. because you're in action, things are coming from other places? Oh, most definitely, John. I think when you're in action, what you put out, you attract, of course. And that is what's happening. I mean, with the leads themselves um, all over the place, what I love is I was actually working till 10 o'clock last night, my time, because of the time zones. I was still phoning people oh. out in Washington and Oregon, going through my leads. So they're coming at me from all across the map, which is great. But because of that, I'm also getting more activity coming from my existing team, which are out there sharing. I think really it's just maybe yeah. my energy is perhaps rubbing off on mm -hmm. them and they're getting up and they're going for it. Um, I know we've talked about Manny in the past and he has just been on fire sharing this with so many. Um, and I'm really excited about where this is taking him as well. So he's kind of feeding off my energy. Others are feeding off of it. And I think that's great. So I'm going to leave this with, with this thought that I know some people will be watching this and wondering if they can do it. Well, yes, you can do it. There's it's just really a script to get it going and then just having a conversation and then referring people to a video or, or, or a, piece, uh, a piece, a tool for them to figure out what's going on and finding out what they like best. That's really it. But I think it's the mindset that's going in is that, and I know, Sue, I've called a lot of leads and I know you have too in the past. And the mm -hmm. mindset is, 
that you're just going to be connecting with people. And I think we talked the other day about, hey, I said two. What did you say? Two out of a hundred that would join you? Or two out of the four? Well, I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping a lot more than that, John. Um, yeah. So I think the point, I, I believe that somewhere in a hundred, if you go through a hundred, you only get, maybe you get a hold of 10%, 15%. And of those, yep. if you were able to find one or two people to join your team, that would be worth the time and worth the cost to purchase the lead. So exactly. with that attitude, it's just dialing, almost like dialing for dollars in a way, without any emotion. It's right? exactly that. Exactly that, John. And that's an excellent point. You know, I mean, all I need to do is find the right one to join the team will cover my expense in all this. And at the end of the day, it's it, that's what we need. And then that person will grow. So me finding a second, third and fourth, which I'm confident I will, mm -hmm. it's just an added bonus. And more importantly, we're helping change lives. We're gonna be touching and these people, if I didn't have the courage to pick up the phone and ring these people, they would never know about Gia and neither would the people they know and the people they know and the people they know. I can remember one February, a few years ago, I was doing exactly what you're doing. And in one month, five people joined. Five. But it probably meant that I had a whole month of nobody joining. So the numbers are, they just work. So anyway, if you want to get into action, if you want to have something to do every single day, get a hold of Sue, find out where she's getting those leads, and I'm sure she'll be able to help you out with a beginning script. It's really fun. Once you get accustomed to it, you can't wait. Style the phone. All right, Sue, so I've got to get on to another Zoom in one minute. Perfect timing. Thanks for, thanks for doing this. Thank you, John. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.